Hello friends, um, I am going to discuss with you um, our weekly poem. This, uh, this time we have a poem that's called Hop, Dance and Run. Hop, Dance and Run. And I want you to take a look at the illustrations and um, uh, I want you to observe and see who is hopping, dancing, and running. Looks like they're having a blast. Those frogs are having a blast at their pond. And I see a band right here, a band of um, insects, and they are playing music for the family of frogs. Alrighty, so let's read our poem. You can also read with me um, and uh, follow along. Are you ready for some fun? Are you ready for this game? Hop, dance and run. Then shout out your name. So that's short and easy. I see lots of words there. We're gonna read it one more time. And after that, we're going to talk about the, um, the rhyming words. We're going to talk about punctuation, and, uh, which means uh, the, the question marks and the exclamation marks and more. And we will uh, find out and circle the sight words. All right, uh, we're going to read it one more time. Let's start with the title, Hop, Dance, and run. Are you ready for some fun? Are you ready for this game? Hop, dance, and run. Then shout out your name. I see game. What do you think game rhymes with? Game and if you said name, you are correct. Game, name. Those two words rhyme. I'm going to underline the rhyming words. Game, name. Now we are going to look for the punctuation marks. I see a question mark at the end of the sentence. I see another question mark. Are you ready for some fun? That's a question. Are you ready for this game? That's another question. Hop, dance, and run. Oh boy, I see an exclamation mark. That shows excitement. Hop, dance, and run. And then shout out your name. And I see a period. That's the end of the sentence. I also want you to look over here. Each sentence starts with a word that starts with an uppercase letter. A R, R, hop, then. The beginning of the sentence always starts with an uppercase letter. All right, we're going to read it one more time. And then the last thing we need to do is find and circle those sight words. Let's read the title. Hop, dance, and run. Are you ready for some fun? Are you ready for this game? Hop, dance, and run. Then shout out your name. You can actually do this. You can put some music on. You can hop and you can dance and you can run. And at the very end, when you stop, you can shout out your name. Alrighty, let's find the sight words. I see the first sight word in the title. Hop, dance, and run. R is a sight word. You ready for some fun? R you ready for this game, hop, dance, and run. Then shout out your 
name. And that is the end of the poem. Well, I would like you to first um, uh, make an illustration, draw uh, things that you see in the poem. I see frogs doing all sorts of activities, hopping, um, dancing. I know that drawing a frog may be tricky, but do your best. As we always say, do your best. And it looks like they are, the setting is a pond. They are in a pond. I see a band of insects um, floating on a lily pad. They are making the music. And uh, I guess that's it. Make sure to put in details. Uh, make sure to underline the rhyming words and circle the sight words. And when you read the poem, make sure that your finger goes under each word that you read. Okay? All right. Sounds good. Uh, do, do the work and have, a mom, have mom or dad take a picture and post it so I can see it. I look forward to that. And thank you.